Hey guys, what is up? This is the Loaf of Bread here, and today I'm doing a video, um, a tutorial video actually today. Haven't done one of those in a while, but I feel that you guys are asking me a lot of questions like what do I record with, or this, or that, about YouTube, and I want to just like help you guys because I know that this kind of stuff that you guys are asking was a pain in the butt um, when I was trying to start YouTube. And instead of having you guys have to, you know, jump all these hurdles by yourself, I'm going to just pull the hurdles out of the way right here, right now in this one video. Because I've been having to comment a lot on videos, this answer, and then um, people have been sending me messages, and I tell them what I record with, and sorry for my messy hair, I just woke up not too long ago. But yeah, so let's get right into it. This is the best recording software there is. And so this is open broadcast software. And as you, some of you may know, this is live streaming software. But but it has, first of all, just to clear this up, it has file output mode where it records to a file instead of broadcasting to Twitch or whatever you're broadcasting to. So before you go saying, my own, that's, a, that's, for, that's live streaming software, you can't record with that. Yeah, no, you can, so don't, don't do that. That's annoying. So anyway... Um, so I'm not going to go into a full tutorial on how to do this because I'm going to make more tutorials on how to set this up and stuff later on. But I'm going to tell you first that um, Open Broadcast Software, it's free software, completely free, and it is better than all other recording softwares or live streaming softwares out there. I have tried Bandicam, I have tried Fraps, I have tried DxTory, I've tried every big recording software that is supposed to be the best out there, and this is by far the best. Why is it the best? Because it has a lot of options. You can set the exact FPS, you can set the exact um, resolution to the exact pixel that you want. So if I want to do 1080 by 720, I could do that. If I want to do 1081 by 720, I could also do that. Okay guys, so let's say I was recording something like Minecraft, and I want to add a face cam to this. Before, I would have to record the normal uh, Minecraft game with, let's say, Fraps, and then I would have to get some other software to record my face cam. And then I had to combine it in editing, which not all editing software can do. Then I would have to line the editing, um, I'd have to line the face cam and audio up with the face cam and with the video. And that is a huge pain in the buttocks that you do not want to have to do. So instead of having to do all that, this is all you have to do. You right click, you go to add, then you go to video capture device. I'm just going to call this face cam. Then it shows me my USB 2.0 face cam, which is built into my laptop. I press OK, and there it is. Oh no, it's on the top left, and it's all big. That's pretty messed up. Edit scene, I can move it around. It snaps into corners and stuff, and then I can just drag this little part up, and it is a perfect face cam. Also, there's more options that I won't go into, like green screen effects and that kind of stuff. But, um,. Anyway, so this is basically it. There's also stuff like if you want to add a face cam overlay, I can go to image. You know, I can do face cam overlay. Then I can just browse. I already have one made. So I can just do that. Press OK. That's all big and stuff. But I just do edit scene. Drag it up. And there we go. So that's just some of the amazing features that this has to offer. You can also, like I said before, set the exact FPS or set the exact resolution. This is just the best software out there. I will do more tutorials in the future. But um, in, for now, until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. And as always...